It all happened 34 years ago on this very day. What happened? Well, me, I happened because that's when I was born. That means that today is my birthday. Happy birthday to me. Now, to celebrate, I'm going to teach you some vocabulary that you need to know when talking about birthdays. Of course, I'm Jennifer from jforestenglish.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you sound like a fluent, confident, natural English speaker. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this video. Today is my birthday, and I'm going to celebrate it by teaching you some birthday-related vocabulary. Are you excited? So first of all, now you know when my birthday is, so I want to know when your birthday is. Let me know in the comments. Now, of course, you can say my birthday's on, and then you would put the month and day, okay? So of course, my birthday is on November 7th. And if you want, you can include the year as well. That's optional, but you can. My birthday is on November 7th, 1985. Now, if you just want to specify the month, there can be many times when you're just talking about the general month of your birthday. In that case, what preposition would you do? My birthdays in November, in November. So notice that difference. When we have month and day, we need the preposition on. When we just have the month, we need the preposition in. So now it's your turn to practice. Write in the comments, when's your birthday? And practice using both on and in. Okay, so another really important thing you need to know is the verb turn, to turn. And we use this in birthdays when we're talking about age. So you turn an age, turn and then a number, all right? So today's my birthday, which means I just turned 34. So when you go from one age to another age, we use the verb turn. So I went from 33 to 34, right? Now, because my birthday's today, I'm going to add just to emphasize that this just happened, close to now as possible. Now, because I'm going to be 34 for the next 12 months, I'm probably going to use just for the next two, three, even four weeks. So three weeks from now, let's say somebody just asks me, oh, hey, Jennifer, how old are you? Well, because I'm closer to 34 than I am 35, even three weeks after my birthday, I'm going to say, I just turned 34. Now, when it is the middle of summer and it's been six months since my birthday, okay, so I'm 34 years old and six months, I'm not going to use just anymore. If somebody asks me how old I am, I'm just going to say I'm 34. But now, because I'm halfway there, I might say, oh, I'm turning 35 in November. Remember? In November, preposition in. I'm turning 35 in November. So when you're approaching a year, we would use the present continuous. I'm turning. I'm turning 35 next week. I'm turning 34 next month. I'm turning 35 next year, okay? 
So now practice that in the comments. If you recently had a birthday, you can use just. Now, maybe if it wasn't you, maybe it was your relative or a friend, a coworker recently celebrated a birthday, you could say my aunt just turned 53, okay? So put an example in the comments to practice turn in the past simple. Now, also practice the present continuous. So let me know, next year, what age are you turning? Next year, I'm turning, well, since I'm 34 and one day, or I guess zero days, just 34, I would say next year, even though it's 365 days away, next year, I'm turning 35. All right, so now that you know how to talk about when your birthday is, the age that you're turning or just turned, let's talk about birthday greetings. So here we go, here's a birthday card. Now imagine that you want to write me a birthday message. Maybe you're going to post this on my Facebook page, you're gonna send it in an email, you're gonna write it in a comment on this video. I want you to write a birthday message. So, hmm, take a second, pause the video, and I want you to write a birthday message. Okay, so write it. I'm going to help you out, don't worry, but first of all, I wanna see what you write. Now, I bet if I look in the comments, I'm going to get a lot of congratulations. Congratulations, congratulations, it's your birthday. Now, here's the thing. In North America, in English, we do not congratulate someone on their birthday. It sounds really weird to me. Now, I've been working as an English teacher for the past 10 years, so I get congratulations from students a lot when I shouldn't be congratulated. But I guarantee you, if you say congratulations to a native English speaker on their birthday, they're gonna be like, why are you congratulating me? We do not congratulate someone on their birthday. You may do that in your native language and that's great. Continue doing that in your native language. But in English, in North America, we don't congratulate someone. The only time I might congratulate someone on their birthday is maybe if they turned, turned, maybe if they turn 100. And it's just this really amazing event, this amazing accomplishment, I might congratulate them. But that's just a, an exception. So in reality, you're not gonna congratulate someone on their birthday. So with that said, what would you say to someone on their birthday? Here's what I would say. Here's what I would post on my friend's Facebook wall or what I would send to my friend in a text message or a WhatsApp message. I would say, wishing you an amazing birthday filled with lots of love, happiness, and joy. So that's probably what I would say. Wishing you, wishing, okay? Wishing you an amazing day. Wishing you the best birthday ever. Wishing, so that's what we would use. So try that, wish me something for my birthday. Now, another way that we can write a nice birthday message would simply be with hope, okay? So I would say, happy birthday, hope you have an amazing day. Hope you have the best birthday ever. Hope this year is amazing for you. Hope all your dreams come true. Now notice, I left out the subject I, which is very common. I can definitely say I hope. I hope you have an amazing birthday. But it's really common to just leave it out and start with hope. Hope you have an amazing birthday. So I would say using wishing or hope 
are the two most common ways to write a birthday message. So now it's your turn. Wish me a happy birthday. Write a message using wishing and a message using hope in the comments. All right, so now you know how to talk about birthdays. Of course, there's one more thing you need to do. You have to give me a present. It's my birthday, right? I should get presents and I really like diamonds. Or you could just give me cash. That works too. Just kidding, you don't need to do that. But if you want to leave me a present, the best birthday present you could leave me is simply by liking this video, sharing it with your friends, and of course by subscribing. That would make my birthday amazing. And until next time, I'm going to get out there and celebrate my birthday. So happy studying. All right, I have a lot of birthday celebrating to do today and I can't wait to find out when your birthday is when I read the comments. So I'll talk to you next time and remember if you haven't already, subscribe and write me that birthday wish in the comments as well. I can't wait to read them. Bye!